Oh, hey there, Mr. Dobbins. What you doing? Picking some corn. So how do you find the right corn in the cornfield? It's all about the fill. Not filled, but fill. This piece of corn here, or this one ear of corn, when you grab it, if it's solid but not hard, it's ready to be picked. If you grab it like this corn here, and it's a little soft, no good. So, but and then if you're grabbing, if it's too big and too hard, no good. So you got to get corn at just the right time. You only have about five days to get it picked. So we'll move you down this row here. Jack, see what we can come up with. So here, grab this. That's perfect. Oh yeah. Just grab it. Snap it off. And then we're going we're gonna to open this up just to show that I'm good at what I think I'm doing. There you go. She's a beautiful. So it should be perfect. Now, in this field, we, uh, we picked it yesterday, so there's not much left. I'm going to try to grab a few ears for some folks at work and see what we can come up with. You can follow along if you want, Jack. It's like a jungle in here. What are those on top? The tassels. The tassels is what basically if you could see, these are all gone, but you got your tassels, then you've got your actual ear of corn, and the pollen comes from the tassel to basically, uh, not germinate, but uh, basically populate this, so that makes your ear of corn. Without the tassels and all the pollen coming off, you wouldn't have any corn. So that's how that, that gets produced. So I see a lot of bugs right there. What are they? Those are Japanese beetles and they're eating the silt. So we'll need to take care of that tonight. Otherwise this corn won't produce. The other corns produced before the beetles got on them. So, uh, but we'll take care of that tonight and those beetles will be gone. So since it's an organic farm, how do you take care of the beetles with, and the corn? With uh, organic products that are listed for, uh, for taking care of pests and it's totally organic and won't hurt you and all natural. Um, so Kendall will take care of that tonight and it'll be good to go. Kendall, we got a lot of beetles. We're gonna have to spray that tonight. Tassel, pollen, silk. Without your silk, your corn's not going to produce, so we're going to have to get on that immediately. This just happened over the last day or so. It wasn't like this yesterday. Actually, it just happened overnight. And is it normal to see this many beetles? Uh, this is more than we normally see. Actually, uh, we don't see that many, and this year has been crazy with beetles for whatever reason. So we've got some beetle traps out, but uh, we're going to have to do some organic spraying this evening. So have you learned a lot from Mr. Dobbs in farming? Nothing. Kind of like a mentor? No. Is that my car? Yeah, no. We're getting ready to spray. What are you spraying? We're using this hygienic uh, chemical that the active ingredient is uh, perithians. That's right, perithian. It's OM. Uh, Omri listed. Yes. And it works extremely well. Totally natural and totally uh, so will not I'm harm humans or animals. List. It does kill bugs and a lot of insects. So what are you doing here? So this is a nice bottle, and you actually it has the measurements on there. So you just flip it, and it fills up that little container right there. And we want four. So there you go. It's um, it says in the instructions it's. One fluid, one fluid ounce to every gallon. So it's a four gallon sprayer. So we're doing four ounces. And so you'll just spray this on the leaves or on the corn? On the, where the beetles are. So you got it all mixed up. Yes sir, now I'm pumping it up. And spray. We'll spray the outside of this here. And so are you just trying to get the whole plant or how are you spraying? Spraying the actual uh, silk where the silk is. That's what attracts the bugs. Where the, right here you can see the bugs, uh, Japanese beetle on, this, on that. They do not like this. 
and it's completely organic. Completely organic. <clears throat> you can actually pick corn uh, same day that you spray, so it, it's not hazardous to humans, but insects, not good for them. And you're just gonna go right down the row and just spray all the leaves or just where the beetles are? Just where the uh, silk is or where the corn the corn's going to be uh, appearing or the silk's going to be appearing. And you can see here, silk starting to appear. That's where the corn ear is going to be in between the leaves and I'm just spraying those. key is having this silk on this ear that's developing and as you can see here there are a couple of little nasty Japanese beetles so all I will do is lightly spray there that does it. it the Japanese beetles you'll see already they're starting to move away and they'll get off that corn stalk and leave um, and go find something else to start munching on or it'll, it'll kill them and that'll be the end of that Japanese beetle and you just go down the whole row and spray them all? Yes, sir. Any tips you'd give to the viewers with corn and lots of beetles? Uh, make sure you try to get it early before they start eating the silk again. They get pollinated from the tassels to the silk, and if the silk is not there to help catch the pollen, then the corn won't get pollinated correctly, and it won't produce as much as, um, as many ears as you would hope.